Hello everyone, my name is The Amber Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the 12th game in the 31 Days of Horror we are currently doing on the channel. I know this was meant to be Potty Playtime Chapter 2, but I'm switching up some of the videos um, in different order, but I figured maybe Potty Playtime um, it's one of, my, like, one of my new favourite game series at the minute. Um, I'll explain when we go through the just walking around, but a tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co, you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. So I have played this before. I've to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. Mm. What's the time? Playtime! Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Okay, I'll show you both eyebrows. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I have played this before. Um, I watched another YouTuber play it in the past, like Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, but I don't remember much about Chapter 2 or 3. But everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. I thought it would be pretty weird um, moving straight into Chapter 2 without playing Chapter 1 on the channel. Even though I'm sure everyone's seen this game already. But like I say, this is one of my new favourite, um... Eat healthy like Braun. Did he take a 400... 4,020 calories? 4,000 calories. Not bad. Sorry, um... Yeah, this is like one of my new favorite games that's came out in recent media. Um, don't know why kids are obsessed with this game. I mean, yeah, it's colorful, but I would say Garten a Ban Ban is more for kids, and probably Playtime's a lot more dark, like FNAF. Like, I grew up with FNAF. Um, let's just put this tape on, and I'll continue what I was saying after. Hi. My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Hmm. I wanted to try and figure out what his face was, but um, what I was going to say was I was actually looking at... The age rating of Poppy Playtime. Um, pink, yellow, red. Yeah. Um, it, twelve and seven-year-olds are watch are play are watching and playing it. 
Um, pink, red, yellow, purple. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, kids are playing this game, and which is, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, when I grew up, I grew up with FNAF. I was like 13, 12 when I got into FNAF. Right, so green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow. Red. Yeah, I. There's nothing wrong with um, being into this game. At like the age that kids are, which is seven. I mean. Like I'm trying to say, I got into FNAF when I was like 13. Absolutely love it. Still, can't wait for the second movie. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like parents don't fully understand this game. It. Can I have that? Um, yeah, like my little brother is into this game. Um, obviously the iconic Huggy Wuggy, you know, is that character. And I've just been sitting on. I'm like, you do realize that it's a murderous monster. She's like, is it? <laughs> Left hand, oh yeah, I am a left hand. I've done what a weird thing to say. Um, yeah, left hand rules. Ooh, hi, Huggy. Huggy Wuggy 1984. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys. But none connect to a people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder Elliot Ludwig aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever, as always is true. Playtime Co.'s four step process to create the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought alive. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best toy, best selling toy so far. My God, I didn't realize how much detail that was actually in you. High five. Um, nothing wrong with kids obviously enjoying this game. Um, maybe I'm just being a Still don't understand how you get that key. Maybe I'm just being a bit of a a party pooper and just being like, oh, why don't why should kids play play to enjoy something? I mean, if they enjoy it, they enjoy it. I just I don't know. Ramba, be kind to others. Show up in time. Not high behind doors to scare Leaf PR. Poor Leaf. St don't stay past 8 p.m. Miss use company time. Time of machinery and innovation wing for opposition. Um, I actually have some of my own theories on this game. So, okay, he's gone now, and as usual. I have like a lot of my own theories that <clears throat> I've discussed with my partner about this game. Um. Yeah, I am looking forward to telling you guys about my theories and whatnot. Sorry again. Um, I'm just going to close that. Because like, I've got a lot of theories about this game and where, where the story could go. Um, I've always wanted to talk about them, remember, to take breaks. Breaks no longer than 10 minutes, not prepared. 
if you go over 10 minutes just by one second, we will break your arms at Playtime Co. Management will rip your legs off with these stretchy arms. That door reminds me of, um, if anyone's ever played Sis Location, which I know it's a very popular, it's FNAF, I mean, this was probably spawned by FNAF. Um, it reminds me of the door, like when you're in the desk, and you, I'm imagining your, your guy's just doing that. And it's like the biddy babs are coming for you. Um, yeah. I will take that now. Thank you. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, act surprised. I know what's going to happen in this in this chapter. Like I say, I don't remember much of um, chapter two or three. Okay, that's fucked up because like, what was actually trailing down there? Yeah, um, I just want to say I don't mean to to say anything bad against kids who play this game or enjoy it. I just think it's kind of ruined the reputation it has for like it's it's being seen as a kids game. Um. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but more after that, after I've read this. Make a friend, 1960. So, Huggy Wuggy was made in 1954, wasn't he? Whoa. Okay. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, Ludwig the Accursed, from Bloodborne, <laughs> was a visionary. He set the stage for all Playtime Co.'s greatest feats, yet of all the amazing things they create. They make a friend, the machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market. To this day, all it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy on its own. Gone is the need for a complex, sort of, and go back big and labor. The machine could do it all and more. But then that just lets. People will smash this machine apart, because it, it'll be like. Ugh. I just kind of have a right. I've got. I'm going off track on what I'm trying to say. Long story short, about this whole my qualms with kids playing this game. Um, obviously, a kid can enjoy a game. I'm not saying, you know. I mean, as a kid, I played. Um, Um, ooh, shit. Ah, oh, my legs are broken. I played, um, obviously Duke Nukem Forever as a kid. Um, I think I was like eight or nine. So, monst murderous, uh, murderous monsters. Although, for anyone who hasn't played this, I probably shouldn't be saying that. Um, whatever these things are, which I do have my theories on what they are. Um, hmm. 
I don't think it's it's bad for kids to. I'm getting off track. I, I, I hope I don't seem like a bad person for saying like people, kids shouldn't play this game. I mean, long right. <laughs> God, I'm going off track. Um. You know, honestly, enjoy what you want. No one can say... Well, me of all people cannot say... What kids can and can't enjoy. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna use that one. Um, yeah, I just, ugh. I'm going to stop talking about why kids shouldn't play this game and just get this tape in. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience? That's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. Honestly, I feel like there's deeper meaning to that. Um, but who knows? Oh right, yeah, you gotta pull these. There's probably a lot of deeper meaning. Oh god, pure white eyes. You know, I never mentioned it, but nobody leaves without a toy. How messed up would it be if this machine broke and management did not know you were in here? Oh, sorry, management just was not around. The power is out. And you've got a toy sensor. Wait, pretty smart, honestly. Didn't notice that at the back. Also, I really want one of these in real life. This is like the one plush I want. I feel like I've been hate ammo for this entire um, episode, so I apologize. I'll take that. Of course, take it away here. Oh yeah. What if I was to, you know? Haha. <laughs> Oops. It's too early to die. 
Get up. I really have some theories about him too, and what he is. This part, when I first seen this, this part really fucking, oh my god. Oh, this is so much scary off headphones on, fuck! Okay, that is terrifying. No wonder, right. I couldn't imagine playing this, like, for the first time, not knowing innovation is key, thank you, science. Oh my god, this is terrifying with headphones on. Also, um, I'm sure my theories aren't, like, gonna be accurate in any way. Yep, 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 yep. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck, 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 fuck. How fast is he? Oh my god! Oh! Okay, he's went somewhere else. Hurry, 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 hurry! And that revamps my theory even more. I don't know if I should go into my theory just yet, but, um, and I don't know if any other YouTuber has talked about this. I mean, this is just from my, like, personal talking to my partner and whatnot, but if you notice, when he hit his head on multiple times, there's pure blood. That's not black, that's not oil, that is blood. Not just that, I don't think he's dead. I don't know how big this factory is. I don't think it's ever explained how big it is just yet. But, no, you are not dead. In fact, I know you're not dead. How do I know he's not dead? I kind of explain that. Because I wouldn't know... What would back it up, but I know that motherfucker ain't dead. Final log in relation experiment one zero zero six. The prototype coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Yes. Okay, I think I've got it all. I think I've got this entire game figured out. Now that that's like reinforced my theory. Um. No run, danger, stop. Oh, I just really want. I want to tell you guys my theory right now, but I feel like I should wait till the third chapter. Or. 
No, 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 we'll wait. Because there might be some, like, there might be some change in my theories. Oh, I didn't realize she was asleep at this stage. One theory about her, though, at the minute, I just want to say, because I've just figured this out, well, I've just thought of this. I wonder if this music is keeping her asleep, because she is in a case like, um, what everyone says is the original Annabelle doll. I'm not entirely sure what it would call, but if I can find it, I'll put a picture of it right now. That's what she reminds me of, but time to end the episode. Oh, them eyes. You opened my case. Run! And that was... Okay, let's get out of the way. That was chapter one of Poppy Playtime. I know that was a short episode. I mean, I don't know how long this episode's been on for. 26 minutes maybe cut some of it out but yeah i will be recording chapter two for the next day and chapter three for the day after that and i might switch out some of the steam games we had planned because um i'm not entirely sure i know how to record on the steam deck anymore like it's been a while since i've done it so i might just like slip got enough ban ban in um i will try and finish all of these games for a full episode for this October Halloween session that we're doing on the channel um, but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe as always and hit that notification bell to for the future uploads including the Halloween session that I'm currently doing but till then I'll see you in the next video that I do goodbye